I wish I could have been in that writer's room, that corporate meeting when they were planning this movie because they were probably like, hey, let's take all the great things that was great in the first movie and make them 10 times worse. The cocaine was cocaine in that day in Hollywood because who approved this? We're talking spoilers, by the way. The Strangers Chapter 1 is a movie that I wasn't really looking forward to because I'm already tired of the remakes and the reboots, and here we got another one. I've had this conversation in real life, and I feel like I've said it on this channel before, but if you ask me, hey, Nick, what's your favorite scary movie? I'm gonna tell you The Strangers. Now look, I'm not telling you that The Strangers is the greatest movie of all time. I'm not telling you The Strangers is the scariest movie ever. But the reason why I love that movie back in 2008 so much is because it freaks me out that that can actually happen in real life. Like it happened in that movie and it also happened in this new one. But at the end where they had the mass killers and they had the, the main characters tied up and they asked them, why are you doing this? And one of the killers leaned in and simply said, because you're here. Bruh, I'm always surprised that the 2008 version of The Strangers got such bad reviews online because I love that movie and every time I talk to somebody in real life about it, they also say they love that movie. Now was the story perfect? No. Did the characters make stupid decisions? Yes. But it's something about that movie that's charming and that ending had me in shock the first time that I saw it and it still creeps me out today. Now when it comes to this new movie, I don't really have anything positive to say about this. Like every single aspect of this new film is worse. I know this might be hard to believe, but I try not to be a dick. So I do want to say something positive about this movie. One thing that I did like, I did like that opening title screen, that title sequence, whatever you want to call it. At the beginning of the movie, it was like every year in America, this amount of people die. And so in this amount of time, that's the average of this amount of people have died. And so while we were watching this movie for the amount of time that we've watched, this amount of people have died. So I thought that was cool. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was creepy. I thought that was a good tone setter for this movie. But then they immediately lie. You realize that they lie because they say, oh, this is an example of one of the most brutal deaths you will ever see. Complete lie, but we'll talk about that in a second. What else did I like? Uh, the lead actress, she was pretty. That's probably it. That's, that, that's as much as I can give this movie. For me being nice, that's probably the nicest things that I can say about this movie. Like, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but from here until the very end, for the most part, I'm just gonna shit on this movie. First off, this is a remake, not a prequel. Not me, but the trailer said, witness how the strangers becomes the strangers. We don't get anything. We don't learn anything, we don't get anything new, we don't get a plot twist or at least a good one. This is the same exact movie, just a little different. Instead of a couple struggling with their relationship, we get a couple that's happy with their relationship. Instead of a home they own, they get an Airbnb. Instead of having innocent children at the end, they give us these weird devil cult-like babies. This movie stinks, this movie isn't scary at all, this movie has no suspense, the tension isn't there. If you've seen the first movie, you already know what's gonna happen. The thing about the first movie that I loved was that it was genuinely creepy. Like the woman in the house when she was in the kitchen and you could see the guy subtly standing behind her, no sound effect, they don't put an emphasis on him. He's just kind of there. Here, they try to do the same thing, but every time we get one of the killers in a scene, we get this loud sound effect. Like the shower scene would have been so much better without that generic sound effect. In the first movie, it had so many quiet moments and that silence gave such an eerie feeling. In this new movie, we don't get none of that. In the first movie, we didn't know what was happening. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Why are these people doing this? As a viewer, we had no idea what was going on. All we knew was we had this couple, we had these killers and it worked. And for some reason, they decided to make every single character that we came across come off as creepy. And for what? I'm talking about the people that worked in the diner, the cops, the people that worked in the garage, the couple that was also on their anniversary, the strange little kids, literally everyone. And the reason why I love the first one so much is because it came off more realistic. In this movie, it just kind of felt like, oh, I'm watching a movie. I just hated the direction they went with this movie. Instead of having the audience live in this moment of suspense and a feeling of tension, we get what every other modern day horror movie does. We get a bunch of jump scares. I hate jump scares. Jump scares are cheap. Jump scares are terrible. And this movie is full of them. Oh look, we're kissing and then I almost get into a car accident. Oh look, I accidentally cut on the garbage disposal. Oh look, I'm driving a motorcycle. It's just stupid. And so we follow along with this couple and in my opinion, 
they had absolutely no chemistry in this movie. Like in the first one, you actually felt the actors, you actually felt like their characters were in love at some point, and then they found their love again. In this movie, it felt like two actors who were just not sexually attracted to each other. I just don't care about this couple. Like the most suspenseful scene in this movie were when they were underneath the house and they were crawling, and then the woman got a nail in the hand. But at this point, how many times have we already seen this done before? Like a movie like A Quiet Place that came out a few years ago, they almost had this same exact scene and did in a different scenario, but they did it a hundred times better. And then it was some weird scenes where like the camera was super zoomed in on the boyfriend's face and he was giving all these weird looks. Like at first I thought they were putting an emphasis on it because they were trying to show that the girlfriend was high but I feel like they just thought it looked good. And speaking of the boyfriend, it was a scene at the end of the movie where he dropped his inhaler and he couldn't breathe, but he was trying to stay quiet. So what did he do? He grabbed a water bottle and he squeezed it. He squeezed a water bottle. It's like at that point, that's like trying to get a slice of cake when your mom upstairs sleeping and it's like 12 o'clock at night. I feel like black people are gonna catch that. As of this recording, it looks like the movie is projected to make about 12 million in its opening weekend. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has a critic score of 13% and a fan rating of 40%. I'm right there with the critics on this one. I'm gonna give this movie a two, which is a terrible on my scale. This movie was garbage. I feel like this is the lowest score I've ever given a movie to on this channel. I could be wrong, but congratulations to them. I feel like I hated this movie more than I hated the Insidious, The Red Door, and that movie was also garbage, but I hated everything about this. I hated the characters. I hated the story. I hated the suspense. There was no suspense in this movie. I hated the faces that the boyfriend was making. This movie was just a complete waste of time. Go watch the 2008 movie if you have not seen this movie before. Go watch that. Don't listen to the online scores. That movie is so much better than this one, but the thing that's crazy to me is that this movie is supposed to be the first chapter in a trilogy. And I believe they already filmed and shot the other two movies. I think another one actually comes out later this year. Somebody is getting fired. But thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new here. We talk about a bunch of different things on this channel. What were your thoughts on this movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I really want to know the opinion from people who've never seen that 2008 movie because I saw that one and I love that movie. And it was literally points in this where it was beat for beat the same for the most part. So I feel like that kind of, that's what ruined it for me. So if you haven't seen that movie, I really want to know your opinion. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Love you guys. Tell someone you love them. Until next time, see you in the next slide.